old man. Give me that. Give me. Give me that. I hate Mall Santas. Was granted an audience with the founder of the competition. Yo, welcome to episode one of a brand new series where I rank every single version of a specific Twisted Metal character and their vehicles. For episode one, we gotta start off with my boy, the main man himself, Sweet Tooth. Though there is only one rule, I can only talk about Sweet Tooth, cause we all know how close Marcus Kane and Sweet Tooth is. But since he's normally a separate character, I can only talk about him if it has something to do with ST. Nothing more, nothing less. And with that being said, let's finally start with this ranking. Oh, and let me know y'all's ranking in the comments too. Boy, if you don't- Okay, okay, okay. Let's do it. Alright, I'm gonna be honest. The single worst version of Sweet Tooth and his vehicle for me personally has got to be him from Twisted Metal 3. I mean, just look at him. It's like 989 Studios, the company that took over Twisted Metal after Twisted Metal 2, saw what worked and chunked it all <laughs> out the window, bro, because he looks disgusting. I personally never liked this suit, and all he talks about is sweets and ice cream even more than usual. Like, to be honest, he acts more like a kid here than he did when he was an actual kid. His bio makes him sound more like a pedo than anything. Like, gather around kids so I can show you how sweet I can be? What? And controlling him was apparently a nightmare. Plus, his ending was terrible. But at the same time, most of the endings in this game are pretty bad, so it is what it is with that. I could go on and on about this version, man. The only silver lining is that the show made the suit kind of cool again, and I really enjoy the commercials and promo art for the game. Like this commercial with him having the sharpest teeth and a better looking suit. I really like how all these clowns are gossiping like he's some celebrity, you know? Oops. Did you hear? Sweet Tooth got parole today. Yeah, I thought that clown was in for life. <sighs> Sweet Tooth got out today. He's probably living the high life. Circuses. <sighs> Birthday parties. Oh, actually, he's driving an ice cream truck. Get out of town. Sweet Tooth is back in Twisted Metal 3 with enough weapons to make any angry driver happy. <laughs> you go, Sweet Tooth. PlayStation. And all this promo stuff, too, when they're talking about the game physics, the characters, even Rob Zombie. You know, really hyping up this game. Which, of course, this did not age well at all. <laughs> and when it comes to his vehicle, it straight up played me. These two don't look alike at all. I hate how this thing looks, and the top of his head makes the most disgusting face ever. This thing is going straight in the F tier. Next. Sweet Tooth Outcast Skin. This is a skin you can get via voucher with the purchase of Twisted Metal 2012. And you use it for a game called Starhop another PlayStation exclusive. It's also an alternate skin for the PlayStation All-Stars game, and he looks pretty good, to be honest. The blue hair looks different and a little ghostly. I don't know what's up with his body though and his bone armor, but I'm here for it. I've never played Starhawk, nor am I interested to play it, so I don't really have any attachment towards this skin. But who knows, maybe we could see it in the next game. If that happens, then my opinion would definitely change. <laughs> I just don't have any attachment towards this little dude. Even when I was a kid, I didn't. And it's not because I didn't like him. I liked his style. But there's just so many other versions of him that I like more. Plus, since I always personally imagined Sweet Tooth's childhood being a little different and more traumatic, seeing a kid version of him pops that bubble I have in my head, and I, and I hate that. I'm not gonna lie to you. What I do like, though, is how no matter what age he is, he always screws over Calypso. I definitely want to play this game one day. His truck is pretty good, though. I thought it was kind of ugly at first, but after giving it a chance, I actually like how the top part's like an old-timey version of ST himself. And the colors on the vehicle are pretty good and different too. I'm not gonna lie, I really like the teal or the light blue or whatever that color is. You never really see any cool colors on this truck, so that's really cool to see. So I think I'm gonna put it in B tier. That looks like a solid home for this guy. Now this one is a weird one. This is a fan-made trailer that according to an awesome supporter, shout out to Zay Thunder, it tricked a lot of people when it came out because they thought it was real when it wasn't. 
Either way it goes, I'm not completely in love with this design. I mean, look at the mask. Like, it reminds me of that meme. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but I love the concept. I would give my less dominant foot to see a slasher movie, dude. With Sweet Tooth being the big bad? Like, you're just going through the woods or like, you're just chilling at home or something and you just hear some fire noises. And you're like, what is that? And then he just breaks through the door like Kool-Aid Man or something. Like, you cannot tell me that's not legit. Like, I need that in my life. I don't know if that would make for a good movie, but still, like, that's still pretty cool. So the concept alone is what put this version of him over the others. And I think it definitely deserves a spot for my top 10. And also, they did a lot of work. I can tell they have a lot of love for the series. So shouts out to them, too. I wonder what they're doing. I hope they're doing well. Oh man, here we go. Uh, let's do it. Ah man, I remember when I was a kid watching all these endings on the extra twisted edition of Head On. I couldn't believe how Sweet Tooth looked back then. But I thought it was cool because he came such a long way from this to this at that time. He was funny and kooky, and also really random. You never know what he's gonna do next, and that's a bit unnerving. Especially when you see that he has a live hostage next to him during that ending. That means he killed a bunch of people, took a live woman, and made her a hostage just to see a paper bag named Harold. And after he got what he wanted, he tried to kill everybody else too. Like this dude was truly insane, and I love it. I can definitely see why everyone loves this version. And it sucks that these endings couldn't make it on Twisted Metal 1. And when it comes to his truck, it's a classic. You know what I mean? How can you not look at this and just feel joy? So it's definitely goaded in my eyes. So you know what that means. S tier, baby. Sitting up there like the top dog it is. Now this version of Sweet Tooth is special to me. The fact that you can run around with him like this and look at facts about the development of Twisted Metal Black, the unfinished sequel to Twisted Metal Black called Harbor City, and find out more about how the original 1995 game was made was really awesome. And I enjoyed it a lot because I love that stuff. These unfinished cutscenes of him from the Can sequel are also really cool and jarring. It just makes me wish this game was completed because it would have been awesome seeing Sweet Tooth leave the asylum and stealing a truck in a GTA kind of way, you know? He has the same character model as Black's though, so there's not too much to say about it until I get to Black. But I can speak on his vehicle. Gold Tooth was really cool, but I never had the skills to unlock him when I was a kid. But since this version is literally the vehicle in gold plating, except for his glowing red eyes on the headpiece, I think it deserves B tier. Because it's not bad at all, but it's definitely not my favorite to be honest. It's just a reskin. It even makes his windows gold, which is super impractical. I don't know, I probably wouldn't be saying that if I unlocked the thing, but since I didn't, I'm a little mad. So yeah, B tier. So say what you want about the gameplay, but Sweet Tooth himself and his story was pretty good to me. Learning about his past, seeing him without his mask, and discovering how he went crazy in the first place really was a sight to see. The fact that he's charismatic enough to garner a following in the first place is pretty cool too considering the fact that he's a mass murderer. His ending with his daughter is pretty interesting, and his design is largely unchanged from black so that's a big plus. And then don't even get me started on the vehicle. Like his truck is literally a transformer. How awesome is that? And to be honest, I think this is actually my favorite version of the vehicle. I just love the headpiece more than I do for any other iteration. So I'm sorry guys, but I have to give this vehicle an S tier for me. I just wish it was a better game. Like it feels like they changed so much for its own good, you know? And that's why I rank this version of Sweet Tooth this low. Either way it goes, this version is definitely a step up in my eyes. Oh yeah, head on. This game is definitely my childhood. I remember playing the extra twisted edition all the time when I was a kid. This version of ST is funny, but he's also low-key calculating. You really get the sense that there's a lot more to him under the surface. His ending was great, and also this iteration gave us another Dark Tooth and Tower Tooth, which of course to me it doesn't compare to Charlie Kane being Dark Tooth, but still. And I'm not gonna lie, Tower Tooth scared me when I was a kid, I'm not gonna lie to you, just a little bit. 
Plus, when you get the extra twisted edition, you get a documentary of the creators of 1 and 2 talk about all of the games and how they created them. And you also get the live endings from Twisted Metal 1 too, which is how I found out about these when I was younger. This version of Sweet Tooth did two cool things. This man convinces his own split personality Marcus to work with him and control Tower Tooth. And two, he took Calypso's throne and stole his women. Like bro, the dude's a boss, man. I just wish he had a better truck though, cause bro, I don't I don't like it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like bro, what were they thinking making the truck as bald as he is? Not that there's anything wrong with bald people. I love him. I love one punch man. I was just never a fan of his truck. Like, it feels like they tried to make him look French or something. So I gotta give this vehicle C tier. Yeah, because even though it's not my favorite, I got used to it pretty quickly. She had dumps like a truck, truck, truck. That's like what, what, what? All night long. Let me see that thong. Like I said in the review of the show, this Sweet Tooth is an even blend of almost every version of him. You got his humor from Twisted Metal 1, his looks from Twisted Metal Black, his showmanship from 3, and his way of speaking from head on. Do not like the lighter fluid trick, but I love this version because you get to actually see his backstory and you actually see him garner followers. And plus Harold comes back and you know how cool he is. Oh, Harold, why did you kill everybody? And also one thing that I really like about this version of Sweet Tooth is that he's loyal to a fault. I could easily be wrong about this and if I am, let me know. But I don't think he betrayed anybody that he was allies with because all of his followers died and then Stu betrayed him because Sweet Tooth was trying to do a favor for Stu low key by making him kill Mike because Mike sucked. But yeah, bro, I'm telling you, Sweet Tooth is the friend of the year, man. This version is legit. And his truck is decent. It's not bad at all, and I love how the head flops around when he drives it. There's nothing really bad to say about it, so I think I'm gonna give it an A tier. Cause I gotta admit, I really like this show. I think the show is cool, and I think season two is gonna be even better. I cannot wait for it. Yeah, y'all didn't expect this one, huh? I love Super Smash Bros, so when this game came out, I thought it was pretty legit. What made this game cool though is the fact that you can play with Sweet Tooth. Not only does this dude look good, but he has a good moveset to back it up. And plus, the way he talks is so legit. I love this old heap. She's always there for me. Seems almost as eager as I am to show her stuff. Show everyone what a great team we are. Besides all that, she still makes the best ice cream around. Not a lot of people know that. <laughs> Guess most people never bother to ask. But I'm not just the ice cream man anymore. And if Calypso or anyone else wonders what I can do on my own, I'm gonna answer them now. I'm going to show everyone what happens when Sweet Tooth gets out of the truck. I mean, come on. Him showing so much respect to his truck, talking about Calypso, and then saying this is what happens when I'm out of my truck, dude. Like, that's so good. Come on. I don't know, but his characterization in this is just perfect to me. And this alone just made me want to include him on this list because it's, it's so good to me. See, bro, I'm, I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Nah, this, this version's pretty good. Now, for my number three pick, we have a version of him that I never thought I would include this far down on my list, if I'm being honest with you. But after thinking about it, it's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie to you. It's pretty cool. Twisted Metal 2 Sweet Tooth. In the past, I never really cared for this version. But after I got a little older, I started to appreciate that this version is the basis of who he is now. Even more so than Twisted Metal 1. He's so mysterious, you know? Like, he has this creepy, enigmatic aura about him that you can't help but respect. Like, the fact that he's only unlockable via cheat code, his bio is creepy and cool at the same time and his clothes being a lot better than what we had in the past and in some future games 
like it's pretty cool. His ending isn't the best, but it does show that despite everything, he just wants to be left alone and chill. What the outside world says about him takes its toll on him too, and it proves that he's human just like us, which is something I forget personally because, you know, he pulls off these crazy strength feats. I don't know, this version of him, it's special. It feels like he is one of the reasons why everyone loves Twisted Metal 2 so much. And I normally like to go against the grain, but I couldn't with this one. His truck though is the exact same with the first game. And because of that, it's getting a C tier. Cause they didn't change anything. I mean, it's cool that at least Sweet Tooth matches his vehicle more, but still they didn't really change anything. I'm not gonna rank. I shouldn't really rank him at all, but I'm gonna do it anyways. And yeah, it's just getting a C tier. Ooh, okay, my number two spot. I'm gonna hear a lot of crap for this, but it's Twisted Metal 4 Sweet Tooth. I know, I know, it's not the best game out there, but I don't care what anybody says. My older brother and sister grew up playing Twisted Metal 2, but me? Back in the early 2000s, I played Twisted Metal 4, bro. And this game? was my true childhood. I played this way more than I played head on. Think about it. A game when you see Sweet Tooth as a little GG mod, first start falling in love with Twisted Metal. He loved it so much that he left his home and changed his persona from a normal kid to a clown because he started enjoying his life that much. Then you see him become a teenager, him being face to face with Calypso and asked to be the star of Twisted Metal, which came true, not only in the game, but also in real life. Years pass and he comes up with a plan to completely take over Twisted Metal and use his henchmen to do it. And the best part is that he actually succeeds. Calypso becomes a contestant in his own tournament, which is something that's never been done before, nor has it happened again. If done correctly, this thing has a lot of potential because it has really good ideas. I really like that they actually made a whole game about Sweet Tooth taking over Twisted Metal and making it his own image. That just sounds really cool. And if you think about it, that's kind of how Twisted Metal Black is. His character design wasn't the best though, I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm not in love with the fact that he looks like a flaming bowling pin. But all in all, I love this game and I will always love this version of him no matter what. His vehicle is trash though, I mean look at this monstrosity, what the f*** is that? It's even a downgrade from the previous game bro, like how, how are you even worse from Twisted Metal 3? Okay to me it's not that bad, but it's for sure in the D tier. To be honest, I just can't give anything about this game an F just because I, I love the game that much. I know, I know it's wrong, but hey, it is what it is. Now we're finally on the last iteration. The number one best iteration of Sweet Tooth, to me, is the same one that everyone else likes, man, and I hate that. It's black, it's black. I mean, come on. You know, like, like you gotta give credit where it's due. This man single-handedly saved Twisted Metal at the time. And it's literally the reason why we got the show in the first place. This dude is insane but in the best way possible. His creepy, unnerving voice. No, I got a Shut please. up and no. bleed, you motherfucker. Well, maybe it was my fault. His mask that hides his true feelings, intentions, and motivations. His extremely dark personality and how Marcus Kane the split personality of ST explains that this whole game takes place in his mind via messages on a loading screen. At that time, and even till this day, it just feels like you're opening Pandora's box. Like you're finding out something you shouldn't be finding out about. And that's what made it appeal to me so much. Plus we get the origin of his flaming head. And don't even get me started on his vehicle. This thing is the OG Transformer. And I really like how vintage it looks too. The headpiece is as sharp and striking as he is, and it looks different, but in a really good way. It fits in with the game really well. So that's why I'm giving it an A tier, because it's not my favorite, but it's leagues better than the rest of the cars. Trust me. And yeah, there you have it. My official ranking of every version of Sweet Tooth there is, and his vehicles. Let me know what y'all think, and tell me y'all's rankings too. I would love to see them. Until then, I'll catch y'all in the next one.
Peace out.